Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central introductory course. This is lecture number one of module three, where we will see how data is organized and displayed in Business Central. So in Dynamics 365 Business Central, the data is primarily displayed and organized with the help of a new concept called Pages. Pages offer a modern online visual and convenient experience for displaying your data. The user interface of Dynamics 365 Business Central consists out of following important types of pages. The first type of page is called Role Center page, then List page, another type of page is called Card page, and lastly the Documents page. Let us now see the different types of pages in Dynamics 365 Business Central. Role Center page is your starting page the moment you sign in in your Dynamics 365 Business Central. Every user has a role center page, which is customized to the individual needs and the tasks that each user performs. It is the central point for all information and actions that you perform in your business central solution. It provides quick overview of tasks and transactions related to your job role. And it represents your starting point in your solution by giving you quick access to the information that you need, the actions that you want to perform and the insights that you need to make any decisions. So this is how a typical role center page looks like. So every user has a specific role in a business central. Every role has a specific role center page, which is designed to provide you all the information and all the actions that you perform in your business central solution. And also it gives you all the required insights that you need to make the decisions while performing those actions in your business central solution. So, the role center page for a business manager will be different than a role center page for a salesperson. So I will show you how a role center page looks like by navigating to the Dynamics 365 Business Central trial instance. So now you can see this is the first page and the landing page after you signing in your business central solution. This is called a role center page. It is giving me a required information and also it has the required actions that is customized for my current role. I will now show you what is this role center page for. So you can see the role center is for business manager. Let's now look at what are list pages. List pages displays a list of customers, vendors, contacts, sales orders, sales invoice and many other types of records. So you can find multiple records in one page. And these list pages are typically used to search and filter for the information. This is how a typical list page looks like. It contains multiple records. I will now show you how actually a list page is displayed on the trial instance. This is my role center page for an accountant. I'm clicking on customers. So you can see the list page has been displayed. So it has a list of all the active customers that are present in my business central. So let us now see what is a card page. You can use card page to view and edit one record or an entity from a table. The card page displays wider selection of information than list page. You can find more detailed information on a card page than a list page. The card page displays the information of one record while list page displays multiple records. So this is how a typical card page looks like. You can see all the information for one particular record, in this case, it is of contact two. I will now show you a card page in our Dynamics 365 Business Central trial instance. I'm selecting one of the customer record. So this is how a typical card page looks like. You will have all the information of this particular customer. You can expand these tabs to find more detailed information. So this is how typical a card page looks like. It gives you detailed information of one particular record while the list pages displays selected information for multiple records. And lastly, let us now see what a documents page. Document pages focuses on user tasks. The examples of document pages are sales orders, purchase orders, sales invoice, purchase invoice, posted sales invoice, posted purchase invoice, and many more. Document pages typically combine information from different sources. Now I will show you a document page in our trial instance. This is how a typical sales invoice looks like, which represents a document page. It combines information from different sources. Here it has captured the information from the customers. 
and here it has captured information from the items and it also gives you an inverse details as well so typically documents page combines information from different sources so this is how a typical document page looks like so having said that that is the end of this lecture number one now we have seen how data is organized and displayed with the help of different types of pages in next lecture we will see what makes up these different types of pages by understanding the user interface components of Dynamics 365 Business Center. I hope to see you all in the next lecture. Till then, bye-bye and take care.